Hi, this is Casey Fight with KidsYogaGuide.com and today I wanted to share with you one of my favorite tools that I use when I teach kids yoga. And it's a great tool to practice at home with your kids. You just have to get this prop. It's called the Hoberman Spear and uh, you can find it online. Um, it's really an amazing tool and, and I'll tell you that it, the kids are absolutely mesmerized by it. So we call it the breathing ball. So what you do is you hold on to each edge of the ball and as you inhale, try to take the ball out and as you exhale, the ball comes back in. Inhale and exhale. One of the things I love to do when I am teaching this to the kids is to have them actually put their hands out in front of them. So while they're watching other kids use the ball or while they're watching me, they just simply move their arms in and out as they're breathing. And kids tend to generally exaggerate their bodies in and out quite a bit. But you find that I'll have 10 or 11 kids in the class and as they're watching each other, uh, use the breathing ball. They're very focused. They're very calm. So kids yoga um, sequencing classes, are, it's kind of like a roller coaster. We bring them up, we bring them down. We bring them up, we bring them down. A little different than adult yoga where you kind of move up and then you move down more like an apex. Um, so this is a great exercise after you know, you've know you done some really fun running around or really active physically exerting poses or games. Then we'll sit down, and, and kids will can sit still for a very long time with this breathing ball. So um, each child usually gets three turns with the breathing ball. So what I would love for you to do is do it with me. Put your hands out and follow along, or you can close your eyes. And I'm going to close my eyes, and we'll do a couple rounds together. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. So we'll often also have the kids put their hands on their chest and on their tummy and just notice that the heart is beating a little bit slower, the tummy is moving in and out a little bit slower. The, Belly's not breathing as hard, so they get in touch with their breath. So you can do this at different phases, uh, before the physical activity, after, after the breathing ball. It's a really great activity. So this is a great tool. Even if you don't have a breathing ball, just use your hands and have your kids imagine a breathing ball. You can describe the colors of it and just breathe together. It's the energy of the breath creating a story using your imagination very powerful practice. So, like I said, when your kids are um, maybe in a defiant state or angry or upset, uh, maybe even just start doing it yourself and, and see see if they notice what you're doing and ask them, invite them to join you um, doing the Hoberman Spear breathing ball. So, I hope you enjoyed this tip. Um, I would love to hear your experience with this. Please leave a comment below after you um, shared this with your children or if you're a kids yoga teacher in your class or uh, if you're a school teacher or nanny or anyone who works with kids and, and is interested in helping them reduce their stress or be more calm. So, check it out and uh, connect with me and let me know if you're interested in a free online class. Definitely click on my website to get your class and we do teacher trainings, um, affirmation CDs, products, all kinds of good stuff to help you and your kids live a peaceful and happy life. So join us to bring world peace to the kids everywhere for future generations. Thank you so much. Namaste and play every day.